Hello, nerdlings! Hello, nerdlings! Like, and where, where are we? Yeah, I was actually going to ask you <laughs> the same thing. I don't even know where there's, we are. There's something familiar about this. Uh, what are you wearing? Is is this is this your room? This is my room! You have a room? And I have robes that I almost forgot about! Hello. Who are you? Do you nerd for wizards? Okay, so it's been a while to uh, get a Wizarding World crate. I believe this is my July crate. Because <laughs> there's a certain company that's in bankruptcy slash litigation slash being sold. So we don't know what's going on. So they're they're a bit behind on shipping out all of their stuff. I'm three crates behind, in fact, actually. You better get those crates since I'm pretty sure they're behind shipping them, but they're not behind they taking the money. They are not. And that is one thing that I love this company, but I am a little perturbed about the fact that they are still charging me, but not sending me my boxes and telling me, be patient. Yeah, well, uh, let me just say patience is a virtue, not a paycheck. I don't think it's something that redheads are given, though. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anyway, it's Wizarding World crate time, and this one is for magical plants. And That's great, because I just wet my plants. Goo! And if you'll look on the box here, we have a little mandrake as the seal. Ready? <laughs> you want to hear the? <laughs> you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> a bow truckle? Do you call them handkerchiefs? Hand scarfs? Whatever you want to call them, but a bow truckle handkerchief. I've never heard of hand scarf. Hand scarf? Neck scarf? Chicken necks! Ooh, it's pretty purple. Oh, that is a pretty purple. Wow. Well, that is pretty. We got some um, bow truckles on there. That is way too pretty to go putting troll bogies in. Wow. Achoo! Oh, sorry. So, Allergies. we're doing a special giveaway. <laughs> That is gorgeous though, especially that green contrasted on that purple. That is really pretty. I love that. And I've always loved the bow trickles. They're always so super cute. Especially the how they just like to like hang out in your pocket and whatnot. They're so adorable. There you go. Now you regal. You look very regal. Except all the blood rush into his head. <laughs> Next up in here, we've got some Keep Off the Dirigible Plums! Was it gonna be on them? Jeez! You were totally gonna be on them. This is a fun little set of magnets that you can pop out and have little dirigible plums, and then you can even pop out the sign that says Keep Off the Dirigible Plums. Nice. So that's fun. You know what? Magnets are kind of a fun little thing. I mean, they I wouldn't are. want them to do that all the no. time because, you know, your it's fridge like, or file cabinet yeah. would probably be filled up in no time, but you don't see those in boxes a You lot. don't too much, often. And I always have a hard time with these because we got another one that was like Lord Voldemort and I could I didn't want to punch it out because I like the background so much, too. Cut the magnet! No! 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 Uh-oh. Hey, we got our button. Oh, yeah, they did buttons. Any guesses on what you think the button's going to oh be? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what we left off. Were they doing magical creatures, I think? They were doing magical creatures, but this is plants, so maybe... Bow truckle button. You think a bow truckle? You think they're going to repeat the bow truckle? Yeah. I'm thinking mandrake. Oh, we were both wrong. A kelpie. It's a kelpie. <laughs> we were way off. We were off. way off. Way off. <laughs> but that's cool, though. Um, I think in our last crate, we got a mug that had a kelpie in the bottom of it. Kelpies are pretty. They like got like a horse face, and then they're just sea kelp. So they're kind of a neat creature. It's a it's a pretty button, but I mean honestly, it just kind of looks like like snot. So I guess it goes well with this. See, you see snot. I see like a lock of hair. Either way, gross. <laughs> this is a tapestry. We're here to see the tapestries. This is a castle, isn't it? This is a castle. And we have many tapestries. All right, let's see what the tapestry is. 
FYI, you can get Do You Nerd tapestries from uh, T Public. <laughs> Plugity plug plug. Is it backwards or upside down? So Herbology 101, it looks like basically just a bunch of like the common plants and what they are and what you can use them for. So that's kind of neat. Neville would totally have this hanging up in his room. That is cool. The only problem with big tapestries, we've gotten another one like this before, which I liked that one a lot better than this one just because I'm not into Herbology. Sorry, Neville. That one was the Black Family Tree. But the problem is these things are so big, I don't have the wall space yeah. to put these up on. Where are you gonna put that one? <laughs> All right, and last but not least, we have a shirt. And on the shirt is a mandrake or mandragora. Yeah, <laughs> That was oh, my tapestry! Wrong one. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm noticing is the color scheme. It's very uh, kind of that that neo-80s. Yes. Uh, as far as like the the teal and I mean, would you call that a pink? Pink, a yeah. A neon pink? What does this say? Warning, earmuffs must be worn. Uh-oh. Fun fact, they only put that on there because they knew that she was getting it. <laughs> The first thing I will say is this is a lot tighter than any of their other shirts they have ever sent out. So I am very not comfortable in this shirt. It's also that it's uh, this is a new kind of style that I've noticed where it's like a t-shirt material, but they've like pulled some of the fabric, some of the threads okay. inside to that, give it a texture. That makes it. a little more sense because especially up by the collar, which I know that you remove the collars of your shirts. I do. But there's like a thread coming loose and it, it, I don't know, because of that it's yeah. like, it, to me, it's kind of like, oh, it's a sloppy looking shirt. Like it's already coming apart, but that makes yeah. sense if they do that on purpose yeah. for the texture. It's also kind of a thick print on here, a thick So watch of... out for cracking, mm -hmm. definitely. You, yeah. Now all these white little specks, that would drive me nuts because I would constantly think yes. I had something on me. I'd be like, ah, <laughs> hey, get this off. See? It's, it's an interesting design. To me, it seems like it's one of those designs that you would have to be a fan to recognize mm -hmm. right off it the bat. It is a cute shirt. I mean, I do like it. I actually even like the color scheme and everything. It's just, like I said, it's so tight. They've definitely chosen a shirt base that is a lot smaller than their others in the normal size. And then I know that you don't like black shirts, but this is This is more fully, of a gray. Okay. Yeah, it's more okay of a gray. Yeah, that, yeah All right. I'm okay with grays. I like the shirt. It's just, you know, I don't need a stage five clear girlfriend shirt. <laughs> All right. What about the box itself? Did they do anything? The box fun? itself is dirigible, dirigible plums. Okay. Just a kind of an inside design. So it doesn't okay. really turn into anything per se. I suppose if you wanted to flip it inside out, you'd have like a pretty flowery dirigible plum box to put other stuff in. And you said the theme was for plants. Yep, magical plants. So it seems like they hit that theme pretty well. They this. really did. I will say they did a good job of going with the theme. I wouldn't say that I'm very impressed by the theme. I don't have the space for big tapestries. So the theme you like, the but the theme, items yes. you don't like. And the same thing, like the this this is cute. I can use. I wouldn't. I would. Of course, it's. I would never use this as a hanky anyway, just because of the material. But this would be really cute to lay down on like a table or an yeah. end table. It's a beautiful color scheme, so that's okay. Magnets. Magnets are fun. You know, I like to turn things into magnets, so I don't lose stickers. Mm -hmm. So this isn't too bad. I do actually like the the kelpie. I like the kelpie creature itself anyway. I guess the only thing I'm really disappointed in per se is the tapestry be just because I don't have a place for right. it and the shirt just because the material they chose is just way too tight for my comfort zone. Okay now the big question is was this box worth the wait? No. And would it be because of the items or the theme? I would probably say the items. Okay. Because I don't mind magical plants. It's cool. If I had never gotten Loot Crate before, and this was my first box, and I had to wait as long as I did for it, I would immediately be canceling it. As much as I love Harry Potter, that's what I would do. But I love Harry Potter so much that I, you know, I'll keep it going. 
But yes, this is this crate would never have sold me just because of how long I had to wait for it and the type of items that were in it. Because I don't have a use for any of these things. They're not right. useful items to me. So that's a very interesting risk reward system that they're dealing with because as tightly as they stay to the themes, mm -hmm. you do have to keep in mind, like you said, if this were your first crate and maybe you're not really into magical plants, this might be a hard sell. Well, nerdlings, we definitely would love to hear some comments because it's been forever since I she's know. got to do one of her unboxings, <laughs> since they're never sending her boxes anymore. But uh, we do love to chat with all of our fellow Potter fans out there. So please leave some comments about any of these things. Maybe you're more into the magical plants than we are, and maybe some of this stuff resonated a little more. So leave those comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Hit the notification bell and make sure that you're subscribed so you always see new stuff. Ah. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Maybe you want to do you nerd tapestry versus an herbology tapestry. And do you say herbology or herbology? Don't forget, nerdlings, if we like it. We nerd it, and I'm going to go stomp these plums. <gasps> they blow up. Don't do that. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings.